The role of transport of food, oxygen and waste materials within the human body is done by blood. To keep this transport up and running all through our life, we need a pumping system. The pump that enables the movement of blood throughout the body is the human heart. Human heart has four chambers known as the right atrium, the left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle. There are four valves in the heart. All these valves are one-way valves which allow blood to flow in one direction only. Having known the structure of the heart, let's find out how it functions. Blood becomes oxygen rich by absorbing oxygen in the lungs. The function of heart starts when oxygenated blood is carried from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart by means of the pulmonary vein. The left atrium relaxes when this blood is drawn into the heart. Now, the left atrium contracts and simultaneously the left ventricle relaxes. This pushes the blood into the left ventricle through the one-way valve. Next, it's the turn of the left ventricle to contract. When the left ventricle contracts, blood is pumped into the aorta, which carries oxygenated blood to different parts of the body, except the lungs. The oxygenated blood reaches different parts of the body through blood vessels, called arteries. Arteries get branched into finer blood capillaries when they reach different organs. At places, they become only one cell thick. At such place, they transfer oxygen to the organ cells. In turn, the blood slowly becomes deoxygenated. The blood capillaries now together recombine and form thicker blood vessels called veins. Veins carry deoxygenated blood to the heart. The blood vessels which carry deoxygenated blood from body to heart are known as vena cava. Deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body enters the upper right chamber of the heart called the right atrium as it dilates. The right atrium then contracts, allowing blood to flow into the right ventricle, which contracts with the expansion of right atrium to receive the blood through the one-way valve. The right ventricle then contracts, pushing the blood into the pulmonary artery, which carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. Lungs oxygenate the blood and send it back to the heart, starting the circulatory cycle yet again.